Well, I finished chopping some firewood this morning. I just did a small stack and uh, tried to make a little bit of room on this log stack for mine and Zach's next outing because we pull the snowmobiles right up through here, offload all of our logs, and the piles are getting high, high, so we've been trying to stay on top of it, cutting, splitting, and stacking as we get the wood. So I did a little bit of that today. Zach and Alyssa made our last trip to town, kind of ceremonial last trip to town for breakup. And that's always a big deal for us. Uh, make sure we have all the supplies in that we need. And the trail down lower is rotting. The snow is rotting, what I mean by that word. Uh, it's getting soft. It's getting punchy. It's hard to haul a load on. So this time of year, uh, like I said, we, we planned that last trip. And that was completed the other day. Zach and Alyssa made it home and... Uh, Got all they needed to do, got done all they needed to do in one day. Along with splitting some firewood, today the ladies are going to start planting all of our seeds, starting our seeds. What do you got going here, babe? Um, right now I'm just putting containers in flats and then I'll fill them with soil. So this rack, this metal rack, usually goes in our outside pantry and it's full of uh, pantry items and bedding items. This time of year, we empty it. We bring it onto the porch and into the house and they put all of our, they put all of our uh, seeds and, and, and plants that, that we start. And then that way we can keep it inside. Uh, all the windows on the lodge are kind of like a greenhouse. So it's nice and warm in there, getting all this uh, springtime sun. And then probably around, I don't know, June 1st, it's time for us to move all the seeded, you know, started plants out to the greenhouse. So that's where we're at today. Looks like Zach is gonna haul some water today. Alyssa just finished doing a couple loads of laundry. We've got excess power on days like today with the solar panels, which is so awesome. We don't have to worry about any lack of power. So we get the loads of laundry done. You know, I, I actually uh, turn my refrigerator on down at my cabin to 110 uh, electric because it's a propane and electric fridge. So I switch it every morning to electric to save on propane because we've got all this power, which is so awesome. So that's what's going on today around here and I think tomorrow Zach and I will get back at it getting firewood. The woodshed is almost full uh, but we want to get it all the way topped off and then an extra deck of logs on top of that uh, as a reserve. So we're getting close and then we'll start on springtime projects such as replacing the doors on all the cabins. I've got to replace a couple windows on this first cabin replace a few windows on the lodge and yeah just start rock and rolling with our springtime projects we can get it done good job all right now cut it in half Good job, dude. This one is hot, but this one is... You got it. We've got all these nice windows here for the great view outside. And a couple of them have broken seals. So you can see this one's fogged up. There you can really tell it's fogged up in front of Joe. So this winter, we hauled new windows in from town and uh, mismeasured the new windows by, a, I don't know, less than a half inch. So Joe is just 
cutting out a little more before we take the old one out. We're gonna get our view back. Got the living room area cleaned out so he can make a mess. Starting to look like spring out here. Outside, inside. It's like a movie set around here. And you go outside and then you just watch people. Boom, fake window. All right, Joe is on his way back with the new one. And we have got it um, trimmed out. You can see where this is like really freshly cut. Uh, he widened this side about an eighth of an inch and also this side. So uh, I had the all important job of holding the vacuum, but there's like a, a draft pushing 90% of the dust out already. So it's working out good. We'll come back when he's got the window. While I'm waiting for Joe to get the window and I come through. The kids are all, it's a Saturday, so no school. Just shenanigans. You got a phone? phone. A flip phone. phone? All right. I wanted to show you what Alyssa and Bonnie are up to. Well, that part of it is right here. Boom. So all the plants, everything's already growing because we haven't videoed in a little while. But there we go. What did you, what did you just plant? Flowers? Yeah, flowers. Nice. And then we're planting zucchini. Flowers and zucchini, and there's lettuce around here somewhere, right? Yes, in the long boxes. This is lettuce? Yes. Nice. Cool. All right, I think Joe's back. I got to go catch this window. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, all right, all right. Nope, it's gotta be, it's gotta be raw footage. Well, you said moment of truth. It's like, let me at least not slip all the way when I get there. Oh. Do you wanna do those or? Oh, a little tight. All right, we'll come back when it's cut again. We came right back. I, I thought we were gonna have to cut again, but he just shimmied it in. Left side first, and then the right side slid right in. Boom. No, no fogged up window anymore. Awesome. All right, so that's pretty much what we've been up to lately. We've gotten one, two, window number two, window number three, and then Joe replaced both of them in the back of cabin one. So a lot of window replacing. Um, Eileen's birthday was just a couple days ago, which, um, is why some banners and balloons are still hanging up. So yeah, that's about it this week. Pretty soon we are going to get everything out of the living room here and put some carpet down. So that's another exciting project, but, um, there's a lot of sun, a lot of snow melt. So our spring projects are um, able to happen sooner. We may even get the plants out to the greenhouse sooner than we were hoping. And we've already got a little bit of a discoloration around the perimeter of the lake, which is about a week and a half earlier than it was last year. Um, so things are moving along pretty quick for us to have a slightly shorter spring breakup, which is good news for us. Well guys, it's that time of year again where we have spread ash all over the place. Actually, we've done that about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And you can see right behind me here, there's this trench with uh, darker snow. That's a path down to mine and Bonnie's cabin. I spread ash there. And if you look all the way down behind me there, 
there's a nice path next to the snow. That's where I've spread ash and all of the snow has melted a lot faster there. I spread it over the garden spot. I have spread it over the sections up on the spring line that we need to get to faster. And uh, that, it just really helps the snow melt. What we do is we collect all of our ash from our stoves, our wood stoves throughout the year. And then this time of year, once there's a lot of sun in the forecast, and we're pretty sure the snow is mostly done, we'll go ahead and sprinkle it out. And it does a good job of getting things melted a lot faster. As you can see right behind me here, the garden spot is mostly melted away. Right back there, we're getting really close. We are way ahead of schedule this year. As far as the snow, it is the end of April and there's only maybe a foot and a half of snow behind me here. Last year at this time, no joke, there was probably two, at, at least three feet on the level. So I'm walking on ground, uh, bare ground, which is awesome. And the weather has just been spectacular. Sunny days, melting the snow fast. We are starting to see a little bit of color on the lake, which means uh, it's starting to look a little slushy or, you know, it, it's starting to get that blue or teal color. But yeah, bare ground everywhere. We got the, uh, the trampoline set up for the kids. <clears throat> Although we didn't set it on bare ground right, right away, it was set up on the snow. We got the swings put up so the kids could play in the swings. Also, they were uh, swinging while there was still snow on the ground. It's just been going really fast this year, which is super exciting. So we're hoping the lake, uh, all the ice will be off the lake here probably by the end of May. So we've probably got another month until that's all clear, but it's going fast this year and it's putting us all in a really good mood. There is still a lot of snow out here but with that ash spread everywhere on our walkways, our walkways to the outhouses, our walkways in between the lodge and the cabin, and uh, also up on the spring line, it has helped out tremendously. Well, guys, that about wraps it up for this episode. We're getting springtime projects done. We're feeling good. The weather is looking great. If you guys want to hit us with a comment, do that. We love your guys' comments. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. For more great videos like this, at least we think they're great. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video.
Come on, take brothers. <laughs>